Deltron 3030 is a perfect album. Taron Delvin Jones, or Del the Funky Homo Sapien if you prefer, is an impressive poetic storyteller and musician. On this turn of the century release, he partners up with some of the best in the biz. Dan the Automator as the cantankerous Captain Aptos, and the always unusual master of experimental turntablism, Kid Koala, who goes as Skiznod, the boy wonder here. This is ostensibly a supergroup of trip-hop leviathans, yet somehow they all manage to keep their egos in check. This record flows remarkably well from start to finish. Epic is a term that has been bashed into the ground in recent years, the literally of today, but there aren't any other suitable words to describe this experience. It's a journey and one that needs to be heard in one sitting. The narrative flow demands it. The album kicks off with some super spacey sounds and spoken intro by Damon Albarn of Blur fame, Dell and he are no strangers to making music together as they also collaborate on many Gorillaz tracks. What follows is one of the best songs I've ever heard, 30 30. builds with sweeping orchestral crescendos while Dell introduces himself and the band. His lyrics are captivating as he kicks off this sci-fi tale. Dan the Automator's smooth transitions and beautiful instrumental sequences juxtaposed against Kid Koala's frenetic, oftentimes jovial, scratches. The way Dell's rhymes punctuate each and every song is the real treat. He speaks his lines with authority, but the chill way he seemingly effortlessly ties his words together is nothing short of brilliant. Yeah. The same can be said for each and every song on this album. There's no filler. Every piece is as good as 3030. Things You Can Do is a catchy, upbeat number with some swaths of strings that accompany a truly inspired harmony section. There's a bit of an early 90s hip hop thing going on here with the accentuated beats. I was a fan of Dell's earlier material as the funky Homo sapien, despite how silly some of it was. On 3030, he sets a pretty grim stage for the future of humankind while not so subtly addressing some weighty topics. Environmental violence, corporate control, oppression, a far cry from I Wish My Brother George Was Here, his wacky 1991 solo debut, but I'm definitely not dumping on that album. Pissing On Your Steps, Dr. Bombay, and a lot of those early tracks are great, but on 3030 the fun is mixed with some depth. It's never heavy handed or preachy though. You don't like it? Well, you got the kiss. Positive Contact turns things on its head with a more aggressive synth groove sound going on. Funky Homo Sapien, indeed. Positive Contact! Virus, Upgrade, Mastermind, Spacey, Synth, Structured Songs with incredibly well-written lyrics. I mean, I could go through them all, but it'll just end up sounding redundant. Deltron 3030 is a musical masterpiece that everyone should own. This is a conceptually creative work of art, and the fact that they can play these songs live without missing a beat is amazing. Seriously. Check out the link in the description for some coverage of that. This vinyl pressing released on the Deltron Partners label is quality. At the time, it was reasonably priced, and it not only includes the separated instrumentals in their entirety on its own wax, but a download key for those who prefer to listen on the go. My only complaint is that it's a real hassle to get these thick records back into the single slot. This really should have been a dual gatefold. I'm always worried about scratches or straight up snapping this shit. It's so tight. Three expert musicians, along with a few guest cameos who don't interfere with the flow, Deltron 3030. A perfect 10. Up there with Nas's Hip Hop Is Dead, A Tribe Called Quest's Low End Theory, and Dalek's Asphalt for Eden. Next time on this channel, video games. So stay tuned. <laughs>